Hi everyone, today we're going to build this wine rack out of pallet wood. There's a lot of pallet wood wine rack builds on YouTube, um, but no one that I've seen actually is going to build it the way we're going to do it in this video. So keep watching. I love the rustic quality that you get from working with pallet wood. But the problem with it is that each board is unique from the others. Uh, some of them are thicker or thinner than the others, and it does make it a little bit harder to plan the project ahead. And that being said, I don't actually have a plan with exact measurements, so I'm just going to kind of wing it. I'm going to bring everything to the miter saw, and I'm going to cut it down. And once I have everything cut, we're going to bring it back together, and we'll talk about how this thing is going to come together. After testing and retesting and trying different things over and over again, I finally figured out what my measurements were going to be. Um, so there are two important measurements you need to know here. The measurements for the backboards and the face plate, which are all the same, okay? And that's going to be 21 and 3 quarters of inch, inches wide uh, in length, excuse me. Um, that is going to take into consideration that these side pieces here are one and a, uh, one and a quarter inches thick. I want to be able to fit six bottles of wine here, and so that's what my measurements are set for, okay? Now, the other important measurement is the inside length. Now, the inside length, you had to take, I had to take, consider that these are one and a quarter inches, so I took out two and a half inches, and I ended up with 19 and a quarter inches wide, so these two. Now, this is the shelf where the bottles sit on. This is going to be where the uh, glasses are going to hang from. We haven't cut any holes in it just yet, but we're going to. Um, that's going to be the next thing we're going to do. And also, I want to clean this board up. This is dirty, it's this, it's splintery, so we're also going to sand this down really well. Um, and that's what we're going to be doing right now. So, let's check it out. I finished sanding everything at the belt sander. Uh, look at the difference. This is oak and I couldn't even tell it was oak because it was so dirty So this is pretty good stuff. Um, my next step here is to pin everything together with my nailer um, And as I before I even do that like I can tell that these edges are pretty sharp So I'm gonna hand sand some of these parts down just so I don't get splinters while I'm doing it uh, And let's see how it goes from here The easiest way to do this would have been to mount both of these pieces here first and then mount the inside parts. But because of the fact that we sanded these and now they're thinner, that won't work because if I did do that and made them flush to each end, there would be a gap on one side of this when I put this in here because these are now too short. So to fix that, we're gonna mount this, these inner pieces first, and then we'll bring this over, and we're gonna end up having about a 3 16 overhang here, which we're gonna have to cut off later on. The next step now is to set up the wine glass holder. Now the wine glass holder is going to go on the bottom of this rack. And to do that, we're going to take this piece of wood and we're going to be cutting some slots into it. Now I took this piece right here as a, as a test. This first one I used a 3 quarter inch Forstner bit and then just cut straight down to open up a slot. 
I didn't like it because the opening here was made it so that the glass slid very easily in and out. I didn't like that. The second one, I decided to make it a little bit smaller. This is done with a 3 8 of an inch Flossner bit, and the slot is a little bit smaller, and I didn't like the way the glass sat. It seemed to be too elevated. It didn't sit low enough. This last one here, I used also a 3 quarter inch Flossner bit, but I cut a slot that was a little bit narrower than this one. And what I ended up finding was that it sat lower than the previous one, and it didn't come out as easily. Like I'm pulling out and it gets hung up. It gets hung up right in here, which is what I was looking for. So this is the size we're gonna do here. I realize that this piece needs to be cut down a little bit because it protrudes our side piece here. Um, so this is a good opportunity to try my new joiner for the first time. So let's do that. almost ready uh, to be stained. Uh, but before we do, I want to drill some pilot holes and countersink some screws in here uh, just for a little added reinforcement, especially since I didn't put any glue here. Then I want to sand a little bit more on the edges because the edges are kind of sharp and splintery. Uh, and then I think we're ready to stain. I sanded this off camera because I think the only thing worse than sanding is watching somebody else sand and I think I put enough sanding in this video to begin with. Um, now we're ready for the final step which is just to finish this. I'm going to stain it. Um, but before I stain it, there are three things here we're gonna, we want to do. If, we, if you're going to stain this, I recommend putting a wood conditioner first. And that's what this is here and when you apply it, you're going to let it dry and then you can do your staining and what it does is it, it allows the stain to absorb more evenly, so you won't, it won't look blotchy. It won't look like some parts are darker than others. Um, and after I stain it, I'm going to put a polyurethane, uh, several coats of polyurethane. Um, you may choose to use something else, but I'm going to use a satin polyurethane. This is exactly what I had in my mind before we started this project, and it came out exactly the way I imagined it. Um, and that's why I love doing things like this. You know, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, but the challenge is, is what gets me excited about it. 
Uh, I hope you learned something from this. I hope I gave you some ideas. If you like this build, please hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see more videos, hit subscribe and uh, hopefully you come back soon.